You've probably guessed that all your apps, especially those from the Google Play Store, collect various information about how you use your phone, namely, how you use certain apps, for how long, and even where. Basically, there's a lot of analytics going on. And the worst part is that all this accumulated data can be sent to the app developer without your knowledge. And then, of course, they analyze it. They look at various metrics and send them back. Of course, you get a lot of ads in your apps. Now I'll show you one of the malware programs that you need to disable on your phone to avoid this. Look, we need to go to our default settings. Go to my apps, then all apps. At the top, tap the three dots. Mine says hide system app, but you tap show all apps. And then, to save time scrolling, type Google in the search. It will list a lot of different services. I'm going to show you one of the services that some people even disable completely because it collects a lot of information, and even Google itself warns about it. Here, I scroll down to Google service, from where. Click here. At least you can check your traffic here. Look. Mine is all zeros right now because I have a flash drive. It's considered internal storage. And all these apps aren't using anything right now, so they show zeros. I'll leave a link in the description on how to do this in case anyone needs it. I wanted to show you that when you go to the app's permissions here, you're allowed to do a lot. Look, if we go to the permissions here and find accounts and contacts, edit contacts, get phone status data, write instant messages. This is a really cool feature, the ability to view instant messages. That is, every app can send and receive instant messages without even knowing it. Getting data from the internet, viewing network connections, and viewing connections. Basically, you really have to scroll through this huge list. Seriously? Go back. Go to the permissions again. And here it says instant messaging is allowed. These two features should be disabled to prevent this program from collecting information from all your apps and sending you various reports that you don't even know about. Disable these first. These are two harmful settings that need to be disabled. Some even completely disable this service. And at the bottom, it even says that we will revoke the permissions granted to this app to protect your data. But some people on the forums are writing that after disabling this thing, if you mean completely disabling, Sometimes there are crashes in the Play Store itself. So if you really do frequently download different apps from the Play Store, then disable it. Just these two settings that I showed. And if you don't use the Play Store at all, then I would definitely disable everything. Anyway, let me know in the comments.